Hi, my name is Kim and this is Kim's Crafts and today we're going to make stickers with designs you already have in Design Space. I've opened up a new canvas, I hit blank canvas and I changed this color to a light gray. It's just easier to see what you're working on. So Valentine's Day's come around the corner so let's hit image, start with the word Valentine and let's see what we got in here for a little Valentine's Day. Oh, this little gnome's cute. Let's pick him, add him to canvas. And he's really big, so the first thing we're going to do is just pull him and shrink him a little bit and put him in the corner. Okay, the next one we're going to look for is Inspire. Okay, let's look in here. You can type any word in that search bar, whatever kind of stickers you want to make. But I like this one, so let's click Add to Canvas. And let's do one more for Valentine's Day. Let's do key to my heart. Okay, add to canvas. And if you click on these up here, the operation, you see basic cut. They're all basic cut. That's a basic cut. We're not going to worry about that right now. Basic cut means it's going to cut cardstock, vinyl. It's going to cut it out individually by colors. But what we're going to do is we're going to go up here and you can actually change the colors on here. If you click on this over here on the sidebar and it highlights the ones that are pink, you can change that to any color. So you can change that to blue. Here's the live. You can change the live color. So you can change the colors on them. All right. So let's go ahead. So what you want to do is you want to Pull the box and highlight it and hit your offset button. Okay, the computer sets it at 0 0.25. And where the blue's at, that's where it's going to cut. So if you see this right here, these are negative spaces that the computer is going to cut out. This is a slide bar to make the offset as big and as small as you want it. I like it small around the edge. I'm just trying to make an edge. I don't need it to be like part of the sticker. So right here, I like this size, but you see all this negative space that's going to, the computer's going to try to cut. So we're going to go ahead and apply it and then go to here to offset results and hit this contour button. Hide all contours. Close it. Now you see you have a solid background behind that and then you're going to hit the color and we're going to change that to white. Okay. And then you're going to, I moved it. See, this is good. So I've moved that now so it's off center. So you want to highlight them both together, go to a line, and hit center. Why they're still highlighted, go down here and flatten it. That changes it to a print and cut with the white attached to it. So your sticker paper is going to be white, so it's just going to leave this edge around it. And then, of course, you want to shrink it down to a sticker size, whatever you want. Mine are usually about one and a half inches. Let's get that out of the way. Let's do the hold the key to my heart. The same thing. You can click on it. You can change the color up here. And then you want to make sure the box is highlighted. Hit offset. The computer is automatically going to pick the last setting that you use. I usually use 0 0.090 on my stickers. See, and that's too small. That's going to be all this negative space. Let's hit apply. And then go down here to contour and see what happens. Hide contours. So all of this, the stickers, you don't want that because it's going to go around all these spaces where you see the gray. So let's take that. Right click and delete it. Let's do this again. Offset. So it went back to the 0 0.90 that I had chosen. We need that a little bigger because we don't want it to cut around all of them. Have that gray showing. So let's just make it a little bigger. Okay, that's good. 2.208, apply, condor, hide. See, it's still going to cut that out. I'm still not satisfied with that. So you just keep doing this till you get the size that you feel is comfortable. You can slide this over. Okay, let's apply that. Click on the offset. There isn't any. 
you pull it out there isn't any so you just highlight them both align center click on the offset and change this color to white highlight them both flatten and shrink it to the size of sticker that you want all right last one is the gnome let's do the same thing offset and that's way too big for him so it's a little slider and you want all the balloons you don't want it to cut around each one so you want to move this until it's small enough so you just have the smallest edge possible now see that's a little bit too much because it's going to cut this negative space so let's go up just a little sometimes you can 0 0.100 Let's apply that contour hide them all so you're gonna have a solid background change it to white and he's a basic cut too but when you highlight these two together and hit your flatten bar here or you can click this arrow and hit print and cut it'll attach the oop, it didn't attach so when that happens, you just highlight them both, align, center, and then flatten, and that puts them together. And there you go. That's how you make the stickers. Then you just make it. And the paper is 8.5 by 11, so you want to make as many stickers as it is to cover up that space. And then you just print them out on your printer that you use.